Hey there, it's Pete over at the Samplis, and today we have a fun one. We are checking out Athera Gold Prometheus from Stefano Macarelli slash Zero G. Prometheus is all about male vocals, and not only do you get lots of phrases to work with and different types of legato, but you get all the amazing features like different ritual chants and builders and vocal effects. To complement these, there are several folk instruments and of course, in true Ethereum Gold style, there are synths, some hybrid sounds, some sound design, percussion, plucks, etc. There are some fantastic instruments within this collection. There are 38 instruments in total. Prometheus downloads at just over 9 gigabytes and features 24-bit 48 kilohertz samples and there are three cinematic folk sinkers. There are also seven different types of true legato and of course there is a fully loaded effects rack. It requires the full version of Contact and if you head over to Zero G, you'll find at the moment it's on sale for $87.95. And this is the intro price. After that, it goes up to $109.95. In this video, I'm gonna go through what you get in Prometheus and there is a lot there and then we are going to throw this into a composing challenge. I've gone for a one hour composing challenge. I've allowed myself to use Ethereum Elements as well and any other uh, Stefano Macarelli libraries that I just wanted to see how they work together. And there's a couple of other instruments there as well. And then we're going to talk about what is it like to compose with. So without further ado, let's jump into Prometheus. And here we have Ethera Gold Prometheus loaded up in Contact 7. And there's a reason that I've loaded it in Contact 7, which I will mention in one hot minute. But before we go any further, I would like to point out that while the developers do send us the libraries for free to create these videos, it in no way influences our decisions or judgments or thoughts that we have about the libraries. We're all about just showing you the content of the libraries and then really crucially, what are they like to compose with and what do they sound like in context? So let's take a quick look at the content. Well, I say quick look, there are 38 different instruments and if you do use Contact 7, Stefano has created a really short Installer takes less than a second double click on it and it will load Prometheus into your contact tab and all of the Patches are on the right hand side, but for the purpose of the video, we're just going to do it this way So the centerpiece is the warrior legato and the legato sounds incredible Oh, 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 oh. So very quickly in these vocal instruments, you can see on the left hand side, you have your articulation. So that was the O, we got the R. Uh, and of course you can key switch between them. So we've got the mm. Mm. The sampling quality is incredible, like it is across the entire Ethera range. And these are recorded really dry, and I really like having that control. But if you click on the effects rack, let's just go for a giant space hall reverb. And I'm going to change the articulation, I'm just going to key switch it. This is instant cinema. Oh. And using the mod wheel to have that control over the dynamics and of course that incredible timbre of the vocal it's yeah it's a centerpiece of the library and it is incredible there you go i've used incredible twice in 
10 seconds. So that's how good this is. Now we've got Dark True Legato. Yeah, let's just hear it. Okay, sounds amazing. And then we've got the R articulation. And I don't know why, because I have spent hours with the library and just gone through everything I could hear. This is my favourite vocal. There's quality vocal running all the way through it, but for some reason this really resonates with me. And again, I just love chucking on loads of reverb to get that cinematic feel. It's just the essence of the library. It's, yeah, just so deep and character rich. And if you're interested, because we can talk about controls now, if you're interested who did the vocals, um, creative by Stefano and super vocal supervisors Clara Sorace, whose voice you can hear on all the other Ethera volumes. And then vocals by Aidan Faith and uh, Daedi Delora. I hope I pronounced that correctly. So there we go. But yeah amazing and then we have different uh different controls we've got attack volume release legato room nice and straightforward so let's have a look at the folk and we're just going to jump around the instruments this is the folk uh eh. <laughs> Beautiful. And then we have some, actually, let's stick with vocals. So we've got the warrior vocal phrases. And again, I cannot help myself. I'm going straight for the space hall reverb just to get some instant cinema. Yeah, yeah. So you can see the WAV file in the middle. You can adjust the start and the stop of the sample. But the, the key part is you just click in the middle, choose your tempo and choose your key as well. Um, so if I just do, I've got to stay away from D minor because I do everything in D minor at the moment. It's a curse, I tell you. So G minor. Yeah. Excellent. Then we have some yellow keys. It's a drone. Wonderful. And then on this one. There's something there very slight. It's a different type of drone. I don't think those keys are up to. There we go. Then some percussion. So you have instant, um, just like composition openers there. <laughs> and some vocal effects at the top. 
Yeah, so it's very, very cool. Um, let's go for the dark vocal phrases. And again, I'm just going to point out how much you get from these. And again, tempo synced as well. So if you're working in 85 BPM, you choose the 91s and they'll stretch nicely. <laughs> Incredible. And again, you've got percussion, you've got drones, you've got vocal sounds either side. And then you've got bending S. Eh. There we go. So these are perfect for just sort of adding variety and again, their vocal performances. Beautiful. And bending O's or O. Oh. Lovely. Then we have Soft Chant Builder. And these are incredible. Okay. Uh, at the top we have the key switches. Ah, uh, yes. So, if I remember... So, you can hear the phrase changes. Depending on the key switch you use. And I say, ah, oh, I remember. It's because, again, I've spent such a long time in this library, but there is so much in there. It's just remembering how everything works. So, we've got the ritual builders as well. <coughs> Nice. And you click on the builder and you can set different syllables to everything. It's up to you the rhythm that you play it. And Check out a great video that Stefano has just released talking about the Ritual Builder. But yeah, amazing. Um, Warrior Chance. And again, you can build these. Um, the key switches at the top change the uh, sound that you're using. <laughs> So just as I showed on the soft chance here, it's going to uh, load that. Well, I was clicking that, it changed the phrase. But if you go on the builder, you get everything there as well. Just clarifying that. Uh, then you've got the Warrior Chance 2. Okay, which is um, like the folk chance. And you get some key switch um, information, and you can use a sustain pedal to change your step as well, which I'm not going to shuffle about because it will make a lot of noise. Uh, then we've got number three. So yeah, just do it by key switch. And they got Warrior Chants Choir. And again, these are tempo synced. Beautiful. And then we've got some sustains. Okay, and again, you can change. Uh, there, but there's no builder here. Uh, so that's fine. And so these O and uh, all work on the mod wheel. 
And we've got deep sustains. And we haven't even finished on the vocals yet. So you could play these as chords, but I would use a different key switch each time. Short crescendo. And then same with different articulation with the O's. Okay. And I was wondering, did I load the same one? Okay. Um, rhythmical breath. <laughs> right. Let's see. I'm just going to delete these. Anything can happen in these videos. That's why those two instruments sound the same there. <laughs> Absolutely love those. And they've got ritual shouts. And again, um, one of my favourite vocal instruments in this. <laughs> Yeah, no matter how much I try, I will never get my vocals to sound like that. No, I can't do it. Uh, it is amazing. And the performances are like pin accurate in terms of rhythm. And of course, these are tempo synced as well. So we've got simple shouts. Oops. <laughs> So it's nothing like these sort of aggressive shouts. And then we've got growls. Yeah. Short air. Amazing. And vocal risers. Love these vocal effects. And you can play them together as well, um, so trigger over each other. So yeah, um, that is a really quick look at the vocals. We do have one more, got back vocal. So again, we've got the builder here as well. Um, and then we've got the mantra builder. Very cool instrument. Yeah, went a bit too high there and they don't trigger. But yeah, you can just see, again, you got a, um, just a mantra. Just build it and perform it over and over again. Key switches to move it along. Yeah, just listen to that power though. Okay, so just going through some of the sound design. Um, I say sound design, there's still the, the textures you'd, think oh that's gonna be sound design but actually it's vocals and these are vocal textures um so you can just choose different no. okay um so that's the Dark ones, and you have the light, I say light, the high. So with the mod wheel. Just 
sounds amazing. Uh, let's do texture. Yeah, just the fun you can have with these is amazing. Uh, so we've gone through these, and like I say, we're going to look at the other instruments as well. So just takes us all the way down here. Um, we've got the drone generator. Okay, so once again, you can click on the info um, to see what's all about. That's Alandre doing the table script. Lovely. And you can see the WAV trigger, uh, triggering, and you just choose sort of the key you're working in. I'll just create these awesome drones. sound amazing. And they got the folk cello. Love the folk cello. And you can see as you change note, it will start later on in the WAV file. So it doesn't play the sample from the very start each time. But again, um, you've got so many articulations. So that's cello. So you've got these loops, we've got legato sequences. And again, tempo synced. And these are all tonal. Absolutely love it. So I was playing just. Just to give you an idea of what you get in the um, cello instrument. And then how it works and how it's played. So yeah, it's just got an amazing sound. We've got a sound design. Let's go lay this up very quickly. So these are textures. Very cool. Um, let's go for keys. And uh, I'm going to play one more key, actually. It's like a sort of key pulse. Distorted synth. Very cool. Uh, rhythmic. Mm -hmm. 
lovely. So again, just look at everything you get in there to play with. You've got percussion. The percussion is amazing. I'm just, just going to say it. So plenty of different rhythms. You can obviously stack them up against each other. Um, amazing, but again, I love the clarity in the sampling. Then we've got a folk guitar. I've got different loops. major and minor strumming as well. And then we've got Valkyrie Pluck. And Valkyrie Pluck 2. Fantastic. Organic strings. So kind of like tremolo strings. Uh, and then, yeah, that's it. We're through the whole lot. Um, yeah, so... That is Ethera Gold Prometheus. I cannot emphasize the value of money. Sorry, not the value. The value for money that this library represents. The content is incredible, but also what content. Like the the voices are just expressive and the timbres are rich and it's got you know, that video game cinematic feel baked right in. And again, the attention to detail, how everything locks together in terms of all the different phrasing. It's just an amazing composition tool. So they are my initial thoughts. And yes, I did make the odd little uh, blunder. This is why I use complete control, so I don't make mistakes like this. Um, but yeah, it's just you know, it's an incredible instrument right from the off, and it complements the other Ethera instruments as well. So they are my initial thoughts. Now, I've set myself a one-hour composing challenge, and I just want to see if I can make a track using Ethera and make it sound big and cinematic, but I wanted to do a bit of a, um, like a dry section as well and see um, just what other instruments work well with it, because it's very tempo-based. Um, in terms of like a lot of the chants, etc. So I just want to see how it works with percussion and possibly one or two other tempo-based instruments as well. So without further ado, let's jump into the composition.
composition is all about showing off Prometheus. And as you can see on the left hand side, there are 12 Prometheus tracks that I use. And I did want to focus on the vocals as that is the crown jewels, as it were, of the library. But there is so much other content which you can use in lots of different aspects. And of course, you can create complete tracks with just Prometheus. So right off the bat, I love how sort of tribal and cinematic and almost it's like shamanistic it sounds it yeah it, it's just great and working with it it's really really easy to use and really intuitive so we're going to talk about that but you can see on the left we've got our 12 prometheus tracks and then we do have five other tracks um so i use some from uh, elements and i also really wanted to try out some clara vocals so i just did one section just see how it works together because Athera um the the vocals all the different libraries especially gold that they, they are my sort of go-to vocal libraries at the moment um been using them for a very long time and they are superb and then we've got other um we've got r and h which is a very cryptic code don't think you can work that one out and um, we've got strings and we got brass and that's just a simple ostinato so let's just start off with the prometheus pulse and i added a soft chance builder to that and yeah, it's just creates this amazing bed of what we need. So nice and straightforward and believe it or not I wrote this one in the key of D which obviously seems to be quite a trend for a lot of the demos that I make I don't know why um, I'm just drawn to it obviously it's the saddest key but there we go and then on top of that we have vocal phrases and I use the 90 BPM phrases we're actually in 90 BPM but it does change to 120 uh, a little bit later and Again, really, really straightforward. So you just pick up Prometheus. Um, I'm doing this in complete control, by the way, because I compose everything in complete control. Um, even though there is the functionality of um, Contact 7. There we go. And yeah, so using D minor 90 and just picked out some phrases I want to. And I did add Black Hole. Um, it's just so makes it really, really cinematic but I love that these are recorded very very dry so if I was play that So beautiful vocal lines. And just to add some sound design, we have um, some elements sound design. Um, just open elements up. So fantastic uh, modern scoring synth. But again, the, the sheer level of content in that is amazing. But I just use that for booms and a couple of whoosh hits. Um, and they just get this, you know, lovely section. So this is all Ethera. So the sound design is incredible and then I use the cryptic R and H just to give it a bit more um, sort of decay as it were. So let's play just that intro. Sounds great. And if I do want to turn off the reverb, because I did think about reverb later, so later on I actually had a bit of a change of pace or change of reverb as it were. Yeah. 
So they are dry libraries um, or dry performances, but I love just whacking a bit of black hole on there. And that takes us to the next section. So we ramp up to 120 and we have um, some percussion loops. And again, I absolutely love these. So I'm just going to quickly um, just change the edit view. And when you start playing these, Again, they just sound ultra cinematic. Love it. So I'm just going to close that down. I've got a giant contact window going on there. Crazy. And yeah, then we've got the folk guitar just doing a sort of pulsy thing. Nice and straightforward as we're on that D. And we use vocal risers for transition. I love the vocal risers in this library. Beautiful. And it goes straight into um, the warrior chants and the ritual shouts. And between the two, they just lock in beautifully. just throw in some more warrior chants as a bit of a texture. Now this section obviously it's sped up, uh, we've still got the pulse going, we've got some phrases and I wanted some sort of call and response um, between the two vocalists so it sounds like this, we've got Clara down the bottom. <laughs> So yeah, that section, really, really simple, but really effective. The the vocals, like when you think about, you've got the chants, you've got the ritual builder going on or the world chant, uh, warrior chant builder um, and some vocal rises and the two soloists and it all just fits together beautifully. And in terms of, you know, rhythm, yeah. It's just, um, solo just say the percussion loops the pulse um the ritual chants yeah um and a bass sequence as well I mean that's incredible. You're just building chants and um, like this, you know, something's going on in the corner of your studio that you probably should look away from. Um, yeah, I'll leave that there because I don't know where I'm going with that uh, analogy. But there we go. Anyway, decide to keep the bass going just for the transition. Lovely, and. Um, we sort of go into the next bit and I didn't want lots of reverb uh, for this section so we actually have the second warrior champ builder and it's a you know it's more dry obviously but it, it changes the entire feel because we bring everything down a little bit here And the drums pick up again and we take out those dry chants. And you'll notice at the bottom in my other things, um, I've just put down a simple string and brass ostinato. <laughs> 
And just to see how it works with uh, other sort of tempo synced instruments. And of course, they're orchestral as well. So we get a different flavor. Um, so yeah. And then if I had the ritual shouts as well, I'll just play this section without any percussion. <gasps> Okay, so obviously it loaded uh, the percussion track in a little bit out of time there. Uh, but yeah, you can see j just again, everything is perfectly in sync. Um, just sounds great. So this idea of call and response between the lead vocalist and the chants, that's what it's going for. And yeah, we just go to the ending. So it picks up a bit here. And then a nice, easy riser ending. So I did use a longer vocal riser and a shorter one. And there we go. And we just finish off with a chant. Um, because again, I love these vocal chants. Yeah, my tempo sync rises and sound design just went a bit bonkers there. Um, but yeah, so if I was to do it here. And then a nice cut off on the boom. And that is the whole composition. Really, really straightforward, uh, centered around D minor. And then just, you know, a couple of simple chord changes just to liven it up a little bit um but the the sounds speak for themselves quite literally such an easy instrument to use really really inspiring and in this i don't know like nearly two minute demo minute 45 i've not really scratched the surface or i've only scratched the surface sorry i should say of prometheus there is so much content in this library to compose with, it's a joy. Like every other Ethereum library, it's just really, really fun to use, really easy to get great results. And this this was my one hour composing challenge. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with how it came out, how I could layer all this stuff up really, really quickly across the other um, Ethereum libraries and the Elements libraries, and it just works in perfect harmony. My closing thoughts about Prometheus, well, I will start off, do I recommend it, yes or no? It is a huge recommendation. First of all, it sounds incredible. As usual, Stefano has sampled everything amazingly well, but also programmed everything. So it is just one, well, it seems to me, and I've spent hours with this, playing through the instruments, getting to know it before making this video. And I couldn't find any kind of like weird bugs or nuance. Like the, the sheer amount of work that has gone into this library is absolutely astounding. And you really get that with what you are given to play with. So not only do you get all the amazing vocals and the shouts and the rituals and yeah, just all of this like crazy, um, sort of vocal performances you get obviously folk guitar you get the cello you get the the plucks you get sound design percussion drones and pads and atmospheres pulses for for the money i mean the the uh zero g stefano ethereal libraries there we go 
they represent ridiculous value for money. I've used them ever since I started composing. Before I started making video reviews, I bought everything I possibly could do. And then, obviously, recently I've been lucky enough to make videos on them. But they are absolutely incredible libraries to work with. And Prometheus is no exception. So I recommend that you pick it up straight away today. All that leads me to say is thank you once again to Stefano Maccarelli for sending over this wonderful Prometheus library for us to make this video on. If you like what you heard, feel free to leave a like on the video and drop us a comment. What are your favorite parts about this library or how would you use it? And if you're not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and then check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. Then head over to thesamplist.com to check out what's going on in the world of virtual instruments. Until next time, have a great day and we'll see you again on the next video.